just hit 100,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Today, we're going to celebrate that by seeing what we can find 100,000 light years away from Earth in Space Engine. Okay, here we go. Here's Earth. This is where we all live. So we want to fly 100,000 light years away. So let's just back up. So 1C is the speed of light uh, about here. So if we were flying towards Earth at the speed of light, this is what it would look like and flying away. But we're going to want to go faster than that. So now we're going, uh, I don't really know. OK, light years per second. So we want to go. That's 1000 light years per second. 100,000 light years per second right here. So I just hold it for one second. Theoretically, one 1000. OK, <laughs> so technically, this is a thousand light years from Earth. I think we might be a little further. Let's um, let's see distance. Oh, it's one hundred and five thousand light years away. So let's uh, let's slow down a little bit and get exactly one hundred thousand away. Boom, right here. This is exactly. But there's nothing out here. OK, so these are some of the furthest out solar systems, which are about one hundred thousand light years away. Here we go. Let's see what we can find out here. So here's a star. So here's some of the planets in the system. Look at this one. So if you were to land on this, I wonder what the, um, the Milky Way would look like. Like, check that out. You get a view of the entire Milky Way. Dude, that's sick. Let's turn on photo mode. Oh, I guess the sun. Whoa, what is this like purple texture? What's happening there? Oh, is it like, it's like a weird lighting thing. I think it's a, a, a bug, but that is cool. And there's the entire Milky Way. That's crazy. So yeah, we are about 100,000 light years from Earth right now. So if every single one of you guys that is subscribed traveled for one light year, we could get to this planet. And what is this thing here? Is this a moon? Yeah, check it out. It's got like interesting textures on it. These craters too. Whoa, it's like shiny here. It's blue. It's so blue. And the look, it's shiny. That's so cool. Is it like ice or or what? Water? That load in. I guess it's just shiny rock. It is looking pretty cool. Everything seems to be so blue out here. I wonder if that's from the blue star. Yeah, we're gonna search for systems. There's only one system within 10 light years. Only one system within 326 light years. There's like no stars out here. So your night sky would be so dim. So we need to like, uh, let's look around. It's so dark. Let's turn up the exposure so I can start to see these stars better. Let's look for one with a cool system. That's a star cluster right here. Oh yeah, that'll be good. So there's a star cluster. It looks like out on the edge. Whoa. Okay. So there's going to be a lot. So let's see if we can find life actually out here beyond the Milky Way. So we're just going to set our filter to organic life multicellular. See if there's life out here in this star cluster. Yes, let's go. There's a lot actually. Three. This one has three systems with life. This system here has three objects with life. OK, so let's check out our. OK, so this ringed planet has marine and terrestrial life. Check it out. That looks cool. What? Oh, that's the shadow from the ring. We need to land on this planet and check it out. Got some interesting cloud formations along with mountains or volcanoes or something. Check the rings out and you're in this star cluster. Oh, I see there's a gas giant right there. It looks like Polyphemus. Um, and then where's the Milky Way? Right there. So if you get the right view like here on the night sky. Yeah, look. The entire Milky Way, you can see it. That would be so cool. That's what you see at night. That is so cool. Let's see what else was in this system. This gas giant has aerial life. Life inside of the gas giant that's like flying around. Same with this one. Two gas giants with aerial life in one system. Here's the other one. That is way cool. Okay, let's look for an Earth-like planet or at least try to find one that's semi-Earth-like. We'll go temperate and Terra with multicellular life. That's what we're searching for. Okay, we got a couple. Okay, if it found that many, I'm actually gonna go marine too. So this is gonna search for pretty much 
copies of Earth. Yes, we got a couple. Okay, we got two matches. So let's go to this system. Here we go. Temperate Marine Terra with life. Super Terra. It's 90, it's ESI, it's Earth's similarity index is at 94%. It was 94% like Earth. Check this out. Turn clouds back on. This is a very Earth-like planet out here. Could you imagine uh, being the civilization that lives here? Where's the Milky Way? So this planet is almost exactly 100,000 light years away from Earth. And if you looked up in your night sky, you have a view of the entire Milky Way along with a ton of stars in the star cluster. So it looks like the ga Milky Way galaxy is pretty dim because of all of these stars that light up. So realistically, you could see about that, which is very faint. Um, but with the right conditions, if you just turn off all stars, you could you could see it. <laughs> oh, that means those are all star clusters. A lot. Okay, let's see what the other planet it found was. Okay, here's the other planet it found. Turn back atmosphere and clouds. And this one has an Earth similarity index of 94%. Oh, this one has a moon too. So this is actually pretty similar to Earth. This moon looks similar to Earth's moon too. Go land on it. Whoa, at this angle you get like tons of shiny fragments. Check that out. Just the beauty. And there's a small ring on it too. Look at that. There's two? Like double ring? Oh, is that? Oh, I think that's the shadow of it on the surface. I want to know if you can actually go inside of that shadow. Like, let's fly over there. I want to land in this shadow so we can see. If it actually blocks the light. Oh, it looks like it's working so far. Look at this. Like, tell me this doesn't look like Earth. Like we're flying above Earth right now. That's so cool. Oh, where's where's that line? Okay, so if you land right in the shadow. I guess it blocks the star. Hard to tell. I mean, we're in shadow right now. But, oh, I guess it's kind of like night. Is that its star? Oh, that's the that's the asteroid. Where is the star? Be over here. This planet looks just like Earth. Like flying through it. Gravity. It's a little bit stronger gravity than Earth, but it wouldn't be that bad. Only 1.2 uh, times. So yeah, you'd feel a little heavier, but you'd be okay. These clouds and stuff too. That's awesome. I want to like go to the beach and see like these more tropical areas with like all these rivers. Crazy that this planet is 100,000 light years from Earth and it's outside of the Milky Way. We found life outside of the Milky Way. Number of moons. Wait, this has seven moons? I need to see all of its moons. Okay. Oh, I do see them. Okay, what's its biggest one? It looks like this one. What's its, and this is its closest moon? It counts it as an asteroid, but this is its closest moon, technically. Whoa, look at that! I've not seen one like that before. It's shaped like a UFO. That is a super interesting asteroid shape. This game can produce some really cool things, because these are all procedurally generated. Even land on it, too. Could you imagine, like, flying to this? Like, the life that developed and they, like, went here first. What's the gravity like on this? Oh, super low. But you're just like standing here on it. I mean, you would basically be floating because the gravity is so low. And then you just look and see this giant, giant planet here. Beautiful. You can see the other moons. Okay, let's see what else we can find in this little cluster. These stars look brighter over here. Yellow giant. Let's see what's over here. Whoa, this gas giant is very hot. <laughs> This one almost looks like gold. This planet here. Yeah, look at this. It looks like it's made of gold. Uh, turn on realistic lighting. That is cool. Let's land on it. Its temperature is super hot. It's tidally locked also. So that's interesting. 
Oh, it's like glowing. I wonder if it moves if you play time. No, like I thought it would be like lava. It's so bright that if I look at the ground, it like drowns out the entire sky. It's glowing red hot, the entire planet is. And the clouds look black. That's really cool. Okay, I want to find one on the edge of this star cluster, so it's more like you can see the whole Milky Way. Like this star here, this lonely star. Oh, it's a binary system. So this star here, what planets are in this? Here we go. So if you got to be on this planet, oh look, it's got Aurora Borealis, Northern Lights. And then you could see the entire Milky Way with no stars in your way. Oh, there's the two suns. We want it to be night, though. Okay, wait, I need to see the Milky Way. Where's that? Right there. So we need to wait like a whole year for the star to be towards the cluster. There we go. Now if we land on the night side. So for six months of the year, or however long half a year is, this is your night sky. You look up at night and you see this. That's so cool. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you so much for 100,000 subscribers. Leave your comment down below of what you'd like to see next on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.